Good morning. Um, as a lot of you know, I like to make ice lanterns when it starts getting colder. Uh, I've had these molds outside. I just use garbage cans or buckets or whatever. I've had them outside for four nights. It gets down into the, it got down into the 20s, which is good. Um, I, I wish it could have been a little colder because these aren't quite as thick as I like them, but it was enough to do the trick. So what I want to do is I just want to show you quickly kind of what they look like and then I've got to get them in the freezer. I'm going to use these tomorrow night for our company party. Uh, welcome back to the channel, by the way. Um, so uh, I'm going to go over to the sink and I'm going to show you how I take them out of the molds. So what I do is, so it was a little waste basket. Take a little warm water and I run it over the mold. That will loosen the ice uh, on the container. Yeah, come right out. I'm gonna put this on my stack of buckets. I already have a lot of them, well, a few of them downstairs. Um, because it's not gonna be that cold today or tomorrow, I'm gonna have to put them in my little cube freezer so I couldn't make a whole lot of them or I wouldn't have room to keep them. But it's really not gonna be cold enough for them to stay nice and frozen. Um, outside tonight or today or tomorrow the party's tomorrow give a little rinse and then i'm going to bring it back over here okay i'll adjust this one camera up just a little bit then what i want to do is i use just regular votive candles And the bigger one, I'm gonna put two candles just so there's a little more light in it because it, it's bigger. What I do like about how they froze this time because they froze more slowly is there's more um, pattern and print, kind of uh, really pretty um, patterns in the ice. Um, you, I use ones without, you, this is a little glass votive that um, I'm gonna, I can use as well. Sometimes the ones with glass on them give a little more light. So what I want to do is, you can see them, I'm going to turn off my big light. And I'm going to turn off this light here so you can really kind of see. Um, they do give off a lot of light. And I'm going to do a little close-up of them over this way. But yeah, these are so pretty to do during the holidays. I'm going to turn the light back on. If you're looking at this on my YouTube channel, um, you can go to back to the channel and then there's a full uh, description and uh, how to on to make these ice lanterns. But these really make it fun. It has to be below 32 degrees. Put them outside. I have a piece of carpet out on the back porch. So it, it basically, um, oh, wow, those are sharp. So it basically um, insulates the bottom so they don't freeze completely through. And then you just watch them as they get a little thicker. And then when they're ready, just pull them out of there, um, clean a little ice off the top, pour the water out, and you have luminaries. It's really about 20 minutes of filling the buckets and putting them out and then about another 20 minutes to get them out. Otherwise, outside, Mother Nature does all the work. But I hope you have a great holiday season, and I hope you enjoyed this um, little how-to in how to make ice lanterns or ice luminaries. Have a Merry Christmas.